um, significant areas for me or time, points in time for me is what some people would call pre-Masonic. So we're talking about the medieval era, the, 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 the fall, quote unquote, or the persecution of the Templars vis-a-vis Jacques de Molay. I, for me, that's very significant. That's a very significant time period, right? It's a very significant series of events as it relates to what's going on even today, right? Because it was that conflict between the Knights Templar and the Vatican that eventually shaped policies that formed the United States today. The whole concept of um, separation of church and state came from that conflict. You see what I'm saying? It came from that conflict. You know, uh, the whole, you know, the number 13 being bad luck and, you know, no 13th in some old buildings, no 13th floor and, you know, and, and, and Friday the 13th and all that stuff, you know, the third, oh, he gave him the third degree, you know, all that, it came from that particular time period. You see what I'm saying? So that that's significant. Also, too, as it relates again to our history of our people, right? The Templars were heavily influenced, heavily influenced by what people call melanated people. Heavily. As a matter of fact, it was that influence and that interaction that kind of caused the the envy of the of the um of the vatican because it was through the secrets that our forefathers passed to them that they would begin they began to amass a huge amount of money and a lot of power and influence in the esoteric traditions that was going on in the east where knights templars actually became muslim many of them actually became muslim many Correct. of them took started using the name Allah. Right. Many of them did this, but this was ignored in the greater Masonic scope and scheme. This did not take place. Right. When in reality, it absolutely did.